And today I'm going to show you guys how to update your um, BMW Bluetooth settings in your vehicle. Um, I currently have a 2011 M3 and I'm going to be showing you guys uh, where to get the software from and where to put it and how to update it. Um, so first thing you want to do is head over to your laptop which I just happen to have sitting in my car. In the search field type in BMW Bluetooth update. Hit OK. And you can just click on the uh, the first one on the top that says shortcuts. Okay. And as you can see, I'm just going to click on where it says English. So I know the quality isn't fantastic. And you're just going to scroll down to the bottom. It's going to say um, uh, VIN entry. Just put in the last seven digits of your VIN number. Not the first, but the last seven. So I happen to have uh, my VIN number copied up here. I'm just going to take the last seven. Copy that and just put it down here. That way everything matches up with your car and they get you the right software. Um, there's two updates that have come out. Um, I've already installed the 1004. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the 1005. So it's already checked on that. If it's not, go ahead and check it. Put a check mark here. It says I accept terms and conditions. And click update. Then you get a pop-up. Go ahead and save that file. It's only like a 7.8 meg file. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So I just copied it. You can either right click and hit copy if you want to. And um, then just go ahead and grab your, your jump drive. Okay. And put it in. And then uh, once the jump drive is in, go ahead and put it on the root of your of your jump drive. And if sorry about that. And if you don't understand what the root means, that means uh, do not place it in any folders. Just place it on the very first page. And just go ahead and paste that in there. Great. So it's now pasted into the jump drive. And now we're just going to go up and press the eject button. All right, and go ahead and just pull your jump drive out, and then in your console here, where you have your sorry, I know the lighting's bad. Um, you just put the jump drive in the ARM console where the USB port is. Okay, there we go. And now let's head over to the monitor. We're going to go into settings, software update. So scroll all the way down if you don't see that. And uh, so I'll show you what current version I'm running. That was that 004 uh, file that you guys saw earlier. And uh, we're going to hit the back button and go where it says update software. And you can, before you click start update, you can hit the telephone and it'll tell you everything that is included with this update all the phones are going to be put into this update so some Samsung Galaxy stuff that's good all these different types of uh, phones that will be added into this update All right. go ahead and hit update software Start update. And this will take about a minute, so I'll go and fast forward this for you. Alright. So I'm going to show the current version. There we go. 
So all set. At this point, you can take the jump drive out, and you're all ready to go. Thanks for watching.